I'm out here in the woods. I'm gonna do another stealth camp today. It's a beautiful morning out here. Um, I have found a nice spot right here. It's kind of uh, tucked in behind all these hills here. And what my plan is is I'm gonna I'm gonna basically lean a bunch of wood up against that and I've harvested a lot of evergreens and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the evergreens and just kind of pile it up. Hopefully I can make it um, somewhat waterproof if it does rain. Lately it has been raining so uh, the frag right there um, is from that teepee that I had. Um, I mean, it, I took down the teepee, so I'm going to use the frag as the bed, and I'm also going to test out the flammability of that frag tonight once I'm all set up. So, um, basically, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start harvesting some more evergreen and um, finding some wood for my out for the sh outside of the structure. Uh, my shelter so I'm gonna get to that right now alrighty so what I've done here is I've harvested a bunch of uh, um, evergreen branches which got my tripod there it's just stuck that in there because I only have one hand to pretty much I have to use actually two hands to pull this so I, I tied it up with some paracord and I put the bigger pieces on the bottom to act as like the base and then I'm just going to kind of pull it like this little by little until I get on the other side of that frag that's my spot and hopefully I don't have to hopefully I don't lose pieces and have to retie but we're going to see how this works out
So I basically what I've done today is I've changed my plans. Um, initially I was going to... Initially I was going to build a structure right here, post up some um, some straight wood and then just kind of lay the logs into it and build a use this stuff as the roof. However, upon further observation of this little area here, I've decided that this guy right here, these are stones and that's kind of like a perfect little fire pit. And if I step back from this bush, you can kind of see that there's already like a pre-made roof here in the tunnel, kind of like a little tunnel. So I'm going to build around that, use that as my fire pit, and um, cut this stuff away and maybe use this, maybe have the bed right here. And we'll see how that goes. I'm going to build, I'm going to... Start getting to this right away.
All right, so um, basically what's going on now is I've gotten, um, I have this stuff. It's kind of like prickly, really curvy branches. And I've out, outlined the entire shelter with them. So um, it kind of, when it comes to this evergreen stuff, it kind of acts like a Velcro, it kind of sticks to it. So what I've done here, this is the inside. I just threw a piece up there. So the idea is, is I'm going to line the inside with the with the thick evergreen as insulation. I have two types. I'm not sure what kinds they are, but I have this really thin type. And then there's the thicker, greener stuff, lighter, greener stuff. I'm going to use the, uh, the thinner stuff for the outside. And um, I'm going to use the... The other stuff for the inside as much as I can. I don't know if I'm going to have to go and harvest some more or not, but we'll see. And then I still have the frag I'm going to use for my bed. I'm going to have, I have a lot of that for my bed. That's going to be my fireplace. I'm going to have to see the rock formation there with the moss. I'm going to have to clear out some of the, uh, oh, I'm going to have to clear out some of the wood on top of that some of those branches so that obviously so that they don't catch and um, so I'm going to get to that right now and I'm going to start lining up this insulation here the sun is up in the sky it's coming down pretty quickly um, today is a very nice day it's like plus six so um, here we go I'm going to get to it
Okay, so right now I'm building my door. Um, it's not going to have hinges or anything, but it's basically going to sit at that opening right there. Um, my zip ties that I brought did finally come in handy. So uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a zip tie, I'm placing the piece of wood here first, and then I'm taking a zip tie, and putting one across like that, taking another zip tie, and well, it's a little tricky to do with one hand, but I can do it. Taking another zip tie, placing it the other way, like so. So it's kind of crisscrossed and going underneath that piece of wood. And then what I do is I take another zip tie. And I'm going to feed it around and tighten up those two zip ties that are in the middle. It just gives it, I tested it out, it just gives it more grip on the wood. It's nothing, this isn't a permanent structure, so I'm not too worried about it. So this other guy is uh, going in between, tightening those ones up. And then that's pretty sturdy. So I'm going to do that to the other, the final corner. And then I'm going to take some evergreen and zip tie the evergreen in the middle. And then that'll be my makeshift door for the front of the shelter. So I'm inside the shelter here. What I've been doing is um, I have this frag from the teepee and I've been kind of using it as insulation along the inside. And that's the fire and it's not going to be like that when I'm done with it, but I'm going to keep the frag far away from the fire. This is just kind of makeshift. And then I have this opening up here in the roof of the shelter where the heat's going to be escaping out of. But for now, what I'm doing is I'm break. I've put all the frag here at the entrance of the door. I've taken a handful of frag like so. And then I bend it right here. I bend it. And then just shove it over here. It kind of stacks on top. This stuff is pretty easy to work with in this manner. You can kind of mold it to whatever shape you want it to if you're doing what I'm doing. So it's just a bunch of this. Once I get it insulated enough, I have tons of this frag stuff. So I'm going to keep working on it. And... Then I'm going to clear the fire space out, make sure that fire is safe. And then, um, then I can kind of start setting up the bed. That's what I'm going to do. So I've decided that um, this shelter, given that, it's, um, given that it's lined with evergreen branches, 
kind of sticks out like a sore thumb in a forest that doesn't really have any evergreen trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these leaves, sprinkle them on top, and see if I can't get this stealthiness leveled up a couple notches.
All right, the sun's going down. It's time for me to hop in the shelter and start fixing up the inside and getting settled down for the night. So, on my way inside. Alright, so I'm inside the shelter here. Um, I, um, yeah, so I took a bunch of frag, just kind of crammed it up against the side for somewhat of insulation. There's a little bit of a draft coming in through there, but I mean, I should be okay for tonight. I'm, uh, I don't think it's supposed to rain. If it does rain, then I'm kind of screwed. I'm going to have to call it off. There's my pillow. Got the frag bed laid out. Um, that's basically it. The outside is pretty stealthy. Got my nice little fire going. I'm not as close to the fire this time. Um, other than that, I also got this little guy here, which is, if I can open it, it's that cute little camping pillow for a little extra padding if I need it, and then, um, yeah. Just got the fire going, got my wood pile there, that should be enough for the night. If not, I'll be up and, uh, if not, I'm going to have to creep through the woods and find some more firewood, I guess. Um, I got my sweet grass here burning for incense. Makes the shelter smell kind of nice. Um... Other than that, I'm going to chill out and watch a movie right now. The sun's just about setting, so it's going to get pretty dark in a minute. So it's a little hard to see. Actually, you can't see anything. But uh, I'm outside collecting wood right now. I can barely see the fire inside this structure which is pretty stealthy if I walk over here that's this is the door area I don't have the door on fully so you, can, you can't actually see it inside there but from this angle I can't even tell there's a fire going on in there really that's pretty neat um, anyway, I'm going to collect some wood and get back to bed. I didn't collect enough, so I'm out here in the black dark collecting wood. So, see you in the a.m. So the time is... Oh boy. 7.53 um, I got a little lucky I figured out that like I said last night I figured out that if you burn live wood it's not super dry it's not going to crackle as much if not any I had like the odd crackle pop off this fire last night but it was nothing significant I don't have any new holes in my sleeping bag or my coat. And 
I am, uh, I did pretty good for the night. Um, this insulation, the TP was way more insulated than this. This insulation job is definitely lacking. Um, I was up several times. I had to get up. I had to move that door, which was a pain in the ass because it's just, yeah, I kind of half-assed building it. And um, so basically uh, I had to get up quite a few times in the middle of the night to gather wood. Um... Other than that, I did manage to get some sleep last night. I got some hand warmers in my boots. Um, the lower half of my body was that's away from the fire was definitely colder, but and mainly just my toes and my feet. So the hand warmers definitely helped. Um, other than that, the frag. At one point, I did catch a little bit over here in the corner. I had some frag just hanging down there. It did catch, and I had to quickly pat it out with my hand, my gloved hand. Um, rethinking this, I should have definitely... Like, this rock formation was a good idea for the fire, but I should have definitely moved the frag further back more. If I didn't catch that, if I wasn't, like half sleeping and I didn't catch that it could have caught I could have just kind of got up and just jumped out of here in about three seconds so wasn't too worried about that the main thing here is the fire and keeping warm and in, in a structure that's not very insulated this is the roof area here the smoke's going out of I didn't have a problem at all with the smoke going to my face even though I'm literally like one foot away from the fire so the concept of the teepee I utilized in this structure and it ended up working pretty good for me so this area here I had a little cocoonish area made with the frag it looked kind of warm it looked like it was going to work I had a lot of the um I put a lot of the evergreen stuff over here in case it did rain or something but on second thought if it rained I would have been out of here there's no way I could have pulled out my uh, emergency shelter and plopped it on top mind you and I might have done that I have like this emergency shelter thingy in that survival pouch that I could have kind of secured on there but that would have brought me further from the fire and I would have been, this is where I'm laying now next to the fire. That would have brought me further from the fire and I wouldn't have been warm. So in the end, it would have got me the heck out of here. So I got lucky. No rain, no snow. Minus one, not too cold. Um, I heard some, I heard some, uh, on a couple occasions, I heard, some coyotes yelping around around here. I mean, they're basically wild dogs, so they're probably just curious. I'm not too worried about that anyway. But um, yeah, that's it. I definitely need a coffee. Surprisingly, the most sleep I got was once the sun came up and it warmed up a little bit. I was able to actually get about a half hour sleep in. So in a few minutes, I'm going to emerge from this shelter and get the heck out of here and find myself a coffee.
Okay, so I'm out of there. Let me do a little walk around. Give you guys a little view of this thing that looks like approaching it. Let's see what's see how stealthy it is. So these are the hills. Normally that's east. Um <clears throat> normally I would people in general would approach from this way there's a path that goes along here that's where the river is so this area right here is not really frequented that much but if one were to approach this would be the yeah, this would be the path of least resistance there's the shrub right there. So, I mean, some of the some of the butt ends of the sticks that I cut were, were sticking up. That's kind of a little indication that this is kind of man-made, but for the most part. I'd say it's pretty stealthy. I mean, minus my gear right there. If I walked up to this, I don't think I would really think anything of it other than it's just a toppled down tree maybe stick the door on That's with the door on. See a little bit of smoke seeping out the top of that chimney hole. It's not half bad. Definitely needs definitely needs some more insulation up in there. Um, yeah, so I'm out of here. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. I'm gonna leave this guy up.